A hospital can often be a cold, sterile place. Probably the last place you'd expect to find love. Come in. Especially if you're just 12 years old. She's had a crush on me for a while now, and I've had a crush on her, so her and me are boyfriend and girlfriend now. He can be, like, hilarious and stuff, but then he's, like, a gentleman. She's kind and nice like a woman should be. Stella Usiak and Lucas Lowe have been best of friends for years since they both started fighting leukemia. Both went into remission, both relapsed, both constantly in and out of the hospital. Truly, companions in courage. He worries about how I'm feeling, just like I worry about how he feels. No one really knows what a kid with cancer is going through, not the parent, not the nurse, not a friend. The only other person that knows what a kid with cancer is going through is another kid with cancer. You don't want to see the characters? Understandably, their dates have to be simple, but they're okay with that. And when times get really tough, the pain too much to bear, Stella and Lucas know how to lift each other's spirits. You can see it in this video. It made her feel special and she cried and I cried. It was amazing. I've never felt that way in my life ever. It made me so happy. It made me feel like I'm a princess. Was a fan, please tell me a fan. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health, that truly means something to these two. So Lucas gave Stella a ring. It says you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And, um... Yeah, it means a lot. Most parents would discourage kids from that kind of commitment. Not these moms. Cancer teaches you you are not guaranteed tomorrow. Bye. And that's why Stella and Lucas are thankful for each day they have together.